As you can see, we've got our gardening hats on and we're gonna do a fresh and simple garden edition. Yes. It's that time of year again. It's all about growing what you eat and love. That'll help save you money too. Exactly, okay. yes. So I think when you're thinking about gardening, the first thing is to think about what do you like to eat? What am I actually gonna eat? Yeah, and then start planting those vegetables. You can always expand on that every year. Right. Start with what you love, first of all. But there's actually a new line called Burpee Boost. Burpee that has Boost? Burpee Boost, okay. which means it's got a boost of nutrients, extra nutrients in it. So just some examples. This is called the Sweet Heat Spicy to Sweet Pepper. Okay. So it's kind of a lot of words, That's but a, it's really kind of a tongue twister. But if you can say it, it's <laughs> yes. good for you. It's actually not that spicy. Okay. It's got a Scoville rating, which is measuring the capsaicin in the pepper of only 300. A bell pepper actually has zero, but a jalapeno okay. has 3,500. So you can oh. see it's really probably not, yep. you know, going to be that spicy for you. Yeah, because we in Minnesota, we don't like all the spice. Well, I do, but <laughs> <laughs> most of us don't. Okay. <laughs> but you can do these um, or eat them raw or cooked. Okay. And they're kind of a bushy style plant, so you could plant them in a container like this, or you could put them in your garden, water them so that they keep moist. All the peppers start as green, and then they'll move into yellow to red. I did not know that. There you go. Oh, you're so smart. Yes, very good. Teaching me something new every day. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cherry punch tomato. So these are gonna be kind of a smaller tomato. Yeah, like the cherry tomatoes. Yes, Okay. but they have 65% more light or more vitamin C wow. in them. And more lycopene as well, which is really good for okay. cancer prevention. And you can actually plant these not only like in a garden that you might have in your backyard, but also in a planter. So all these things, even if you don't have a garden, yeah. you can just put them in planters, put them on your doorstep or on your patio oh, or yeah. out your back door. You know, it really doesn't matter as long as they get about six to eight hours of sunlight. Now this is called the healing hand lettuce. Okay. So you can see kind of how it's got different kinds of lettuce yep. in it. It's actually got 70% more anthocyanins, which is a fancy term for an antioxidant that's generally found in purple and blue types of fruits and vegetables. So you're getting that in this healing hands mix. You'll just want to make sure lettuce especially to water it frequently. Got it. And it's good for the cold season. So like now when it's not so warm out right. yet, this would be a perfect thing to start growing. Get it started. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to have you do a little planting. You're getting my hands dirty. <laughs> if you want to put on your garden sort of. gloves. Getting yes. sort of get my hands dirty. Right. You, can, you don't have to put them on. Get the gloves dirty. But I'm going to have you plant some Healing Hands lettuce. All right. So this is perfect for, you know, like the size of a container. Yep. You could do a couple of plants if you had a bigger container because it will kind of sprawl out a little bit. So if you want to, we'll just do tip it out here. Okay very easily. The key is to have these kind of moist so that it slips right out right. of the container. Do you have to break up the, the roots? That would be good, yep. So you're going to just kind of move them around with your gloves there. That's kind of the, that'll help it spread out a little bit in the container. You're doing good. Thank you. And then you're just going to kind of move <laughs> your dirt out of the way. And just set it in there. Yep. And you can kind of pack it down a little bit and put the dirt around it. Kind of push it down and then you give it a nice watering when you're doing that. And voila, you have your little Healing Hands lettuce in a container. Look at that, as yeah. easy as that. And if I can do it, we all know anyone can do it. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> now we're gonna make something with these vegetables, right? Yes, so something you can use your lettuce and your tomatoes for, okay. specifically. This is a chicken Caesar pizza. That sounds amazing. Yeah, super good, super easy. What, what more do you want? You're basically just gonna take like a whole grain pizza crust. Yeah. You could use a bigger one if you wanted to. We're gonna put some Caesar salad dressing on it. So about a tablespoon roughly. Okay. And then you're gonna spread that around with a spoon and you can use the light that would be better because right. you're lowering the calories and the fat once you get that done you're actually going to put on some chicken okay and this is just pre-cooked chicken that you can um, either buy that way or use a rotisserie chicken would be also a, a good easy convenient way to do that once you get that uh, you're just going to top it with some parmesan cheese all right Pop that in the oven at 450 for about seven to eight minutes. Not going to take that long. Once you get it done, it's going to kind of have that caramel That's looking effect. Like. Okay. And then you're going to put some salad on it. So which is your lettuce. Kind of top that up. And then also some tomatoes. So makes it look nice and colorful, nice looking like garden fresh. Yes. And then you just cut that and eat it right up. Very summery. You're getting all your vegetables and everything right in one main dish. It doesn't get any better. No, it doesn't. Not okay. at all. All right. Thank you, Jen. All this information, of course, is on our website, KALTV.com, and click on Fresh and Simple.